We are pleased today to be here with our guest speaker, Anders Inset. Thank you very much for your speech today. I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, you uh, told before that uh, we have to think uh, uh, that the new economy is dead and that we have to think uh, to do business in a new way. What do you uh, mean with this? Yeah, I think Ferraris and yachts for everyone will uh, and cannot happen. And, and we know that we are eating up the resources on our planet. Uh, at the same time, I think the economy is a very important part in order to understand our society. We have some huge challenges ahead. We need to cope with the ecological collapse and we need to figure out how to live with exponential technologies. So basically now it's about the survival of our species, about saving the planet and extending organized human life. And the only way that I think that we can do so is that if we rethink the economy to create a new operating system, how we do business, how we capitalize. So to develop the capitalism of Adam Smith further. Mm -hmm. But uh, how we can uh, jump uh, in uh, what you said, the uh, Q economy? Yeah, first of all, the business is not like the linear models that we used to have. It's more like quantum physics. It's strange, it's entangled, uh, it's chaotic. Uh, we think it's going to grow and then it just something happens. So it's a, a world that we need to rethink in terms of that everything we do as of today mm -hmm. has to be infinite. So we need to have all products circular. Uh, everything that we make has to be put back into the system. So that's one part. The other part is that we have to become more conscious, conscious of how we consume, how we do business. So we need a revolution of consciousness. So we need to have on the one hand an infinite approach to business that it's not about winning or losing, but playing infinite. And the other part is to have a revolution of consciousness. And also we need to create a society of understanding to understand what we are actually doing. And when I say so, it's just about the impact of technology is so much more extreme than we can imagine. The digital tsunami will hit as of 2020, and that's where we have to start to rethink. So how can we do it? Um, we need to capitalize on vital energies figure out how to make money on understanding or, or, or love, to move further up the pyramid of uh, needs from Maslow uh, and not just to live off of consuming resources and, and living off the bank account. So there are multiple ways, multiple approaches, but the main part is to figure out how to do business to capitalize on vital energies. And uh, what is the future of a uh, human being uh, in your vision? I don't think it's deterministic. Uh, no. It's not a dystopian or utopian. It's mm. not a zero-sum game. So we have to do something. I think we are now at a very critical time uh, in the history of our species. And if we want to organize human uh, life to continue or to rescue our planet, we need to do something. We need to come up with new models because technology, when we now get into a mode of winner takes all and battle of the algorithms, will create some serious issues for society. And if we don't manage to cope with it now, when we have a stable um, business world, even though it seems crazy, mm -hmm. it is fairly stable and safe. If we can't do it now, we're going to be punished later on. And the same goes for ecology. If we don't clean up the planet and figure out how to not only do zero emission, but to do climate take back. Yeah. Uh, I just met a company, they're doing climate take back. They're putting floors, but they have a vision to do so. And the politicians are saying it's going to be difficult. Yes, there are old companies and dinosaurs that has to die, but there are other ways. And we have to figure out how to do business in a completely new way in order for our species to survive. The last question, uh, how do you think uh, that the data analysis information can help uh, in the Q economy? It's very important. It's crucial to have knowledge, but knowledge is not understanding. So mm -hmm. after having a fatal information society where we're now getting tired, we'll move into a knowledge society. It's only about facts. So in future, everyone that can say something needs to have a substantial value. Maybe some entertainment, infotainment is needed, but we also need to understand that that is not enough. We need the human judgment, the creativity, to be fantastic, to screw up. So we cannot rely solely mm. on information and data because then we will create a perfect replica of the past, yeah. but not move forward. And progress for humanity will only be found in the interspaces between the disciplines. So in the unknown unknowns or the things that we cannot tap into. And only if we succeed to generate new knowledge, 
new mistakes that we can learn from. Only then will we be able to survive. So we need both you know, the best of breed, uh, artificial intelligence, analytics and data, paired with human judgment and intuition and creativity. Then we'll do good. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank Ciao. you.